Can you handle the truth? On today's episode of Living in Columbus, Ohio, we are going to talk about what is true about moving to Columbus, Ohio in 2023. What's up guys, my name is Brad Winter, and if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you could go ahead and tap on that subscribe button below, give us a like, drop a comment, click the bell. That would be awesome if you guys could do that. We are going to jump into it right now, and we are going to talk about a number of different truths about moving to Columbus, Ohio in 2023. So buckle up, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this episode because there are things that we're gonna uncover that you may or may not like about living here. All right, let's jump right into it. The first thing that we are going to talk about, and it's the thing that's on everybody's mind right now, it's on every news channel, it's on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you name it. Even the radio stations, if you listen to the radio still, they are talking about it. It's the housing market. And it's just not about Columbus, it's about all across the country, whether it's residential, commercial, are we in a bubble, are we not in a bubble, is there affordability problems, is there not? You name it, there's been headlines out there. So we're gonna get into it with the Columbus, Ohio market, because that's where we're at, and that's where you guys are gonna move to if you don't already live here. and. You know, there's a lot of things that have been happening over the last three years. So we have seen a rapid increase in pricing of homes in the last three years. As you guys have seen in multiple videos that I have done uh, regarding the real estate market here in Columbus, we have seen significant increase in home values over the last three years. Now, the interesting thing is about that is if you live here, you probably don't feel great about you know, what that has done for affordability. If you're somebody that has having a hard time finding a home you're looking for, or you know, you are hoping to buy a home in the two to $300,000 range in a, you know, solid area with a good school district, those homes are really hard to find, especially in the single family category. Now, if you are relocating here from other parts of the country, you may think that the pricing here is still extremely affordable. And I hate to break the news for all the, the Columbus residents. We are still an affordable city uh, when it comes to housing. And you know, you may not think it if you live here, but people that are relocating here, they certainly understand that, you know, buying a three, four, five hundred thousand dollar house here in central Ohio is getting them a lot more of a home than they could get in other parts of the country. So, you know, that is one thing that you should know about moving here is if you are coming from an area where real estate is very expensive, maybe out in California, Colorado, Florida, you know, any of the major, major states that we have as far as where people are relocating from or moving to, or the cost of living is, is outrageous. If you're moving from those areas, then you are going to more than likely think that the housing market here is extremely affordable. And that is something that you should know about the housing market. Now, you know, another thing that's going on right now is over the last three years, we have gone from you know kind of a mixed market i'm not gonna call it balance to a complete seller's market right i mean you as a seller could put the house on the market on a friday and by friday night you've got 10 12 offers and you're making a decision and the house is off the market and you really didn't have to fix anything up you didn't have to get it ready to sell you know it was just kind of throw it for sale sign out in the yard and it was it was game over What's interesting is that is starting to come back down a little bit. Now, I'm gonna say that in quotes because in really good school district areas and a home that is um, move-in ready in great condition and is priced appropriately, there are still multiple offers that are being had on those properties. Now, what's interesting is that I have seen over the last, I'll say six to eight months, is those multiple offers aren't 40, 50, 60, $70,000 over list price. 
they're more in between maybe the 10 and 30. Again, it's all gonna depend on the area, but you know, the waiving of inspections and you know, massive amounts of earnest money and waiving this and that, that stuff is starting to settle down. And my prediction is over the next six months, it'll probably settle down even more. So if you are a buyer that is entering our market um, from outside of Columbus, or if you are a buyer here in Columbus and you are concerned about, you know, if you're gonna be able to compete or not, I believe that we are going to get back into a more, not even market as far as inventory, but maybe an even market as far as buyers and sellers having the upper hand. Maybe there'll be a little bit more negotiation going on. The terms might be a little more favorable to both parties instead of it being so lopsided. And so that's something that you got to think about when you are relocating here is, you know, a lot of people will want to move here and rent right away. And then they're like, oh, I'll buy in the spring. I'll just wait until the spring. Well, the problem is when the spring happens, you know, rates could come down, inventory will more than likely be more plentiful than it is now. Not saying it's gonna be great, but it'll be more because it's the spring market. And then competition is going to uh, once again increase. So if you are moving here, you should buy now if you can afford it, uh, because you're probably more than likely going to have less competition. Now, another thing, about our housing market is, you know, for the most part over, let's just call it the last 30 years, it's been a very stable market. Even back when we had, you know, the, the housing market crash and the great recession, all those things, did we feel it? Of course, but we were not hurting as much as other areas of the country. And so Ohio or Columbus, Ohio, I should say, is a really stable market. I know because of, I can see it in the market, is home prices are going to remain steady. Appreciation is going to keep going up because we have such an influx of people moving here and all these things that are happening in central Ohio with the investment in other companies and companies bringing you know, their employees here and all these things that are happening. You know, we are going to more than likely have a very healthy housing market. And again, when you're thinking about housing, you have to look at it really at a local level. What's happening here is not happening in Cleveland, Ohio or Cincinnati or Pittsburgh or California. You gotta look at it right here. So housing market right now remains strong. If you are thinking about buying a home, now is a great time, uh, especially if you are relocating here and you wanna get in before everybody starts fighting again once spring hits. Another thing about our housing market, a question that people always drop in the comments or they call me is like, you know, what type of homes do we have here? If you are looking in the city, there is a mix of old brick homes and old kind of design and feel mixed with a lot of modern stuff that's being uh, built by developers as well. So there are parts of the, the metro area where developers are going in, they're knocking down old uh, houses that are you know, probably not in good condition or maybe not even safe anymore. And they're starting to build a more modern product, which I personally think we need here in Columbus, especially with all the people that are moving here um, from the West Coast and, and from other areas that desire a more modern product. So I think that's pretty cool. When you get out into the suburbs, you have a whole mix of, of, of older homes and you know, kind of mid new build and then the extremely new build, um, you know, mass communities that the MI homes are doing and Schottensteins and Pulte and all those, you know, they're doing mass development. So you have that product out there right now. Um, what I would like to see more, and I'm hoping a lot of these you know, more higher end builders do is, is a more modern product. Like I said, they're doing it in the city. I'm hoping that as Columbus grows and people demand this type of product that these more, we'll call them mid luxury builders, um, start building those type of products because I really think there are a lot of great buyers out there for them. So again, talk about housing. We're in a strong market. I think a lot of things are changing over you know, from now until probably spring that is going to balance some things out, um, not inventory, that's one thing that's not happening, but um, if you are relocating here, definitely try to get in now. I, I just think as time goes on and more of these companies keep investing their dollars and, and moving here uh, to the central Ohio region, um, home prices are just gonna keep 
going up and up and inventory is gonna get a lot harder. So another truth about Columbus, Ohio is kind of the political climate and, and what does that look like? And I am not somebody that is an expert in politics. I don't pretend to be, and I'm not going to ever talk about politics on this channel. However, I do get a lot of questions regarding, you know, what is the political climate here in Columbus? And I'm just gonna touch on this briefly. You know, Columbus is the capital of Ohio. We are a swing state, so when election time, comes for the presidential election. We are a massive swing state. You are going to see commercials and ads and people out door knocking for the campaign. It's, it's really annoying after a while because it just kind of floods our lives. But you know, we're in the heart of the Midwest. We, we are that swing state. So you know, I will say our political climate can be very diverse. In the city, I would say it leans more democratic and then as you bleed out to the suburbs, you probably get more and more of a mix. And then you have to remember, you know, as you get out into the more rural areas, which if you look on a map, that's not that far away from downtown Columbus, because again, we are surrounded by cornfields, right? So you can drive 20 minutes outside of downtown Columbus and you're in farm country or, you know, you're just, out in the rolling hills and so you have to remember as farther out you get you are more than likely going to get more of kind of that conservative uh, voter so again if you are moving here and you are from a very highly political state uh, whether it's florida texas california new york and you lean one way or the other you should know that in general, Ohio is a swing state. Here in central Ohio, you are going to have a mix when it comes to your politics. You have to decide if that's a good thing, a bad thing, if that's something you can handle. Um, but did want to talk about that because I do get a lot of questions about kind of the political atmosphere here in central Ohio. So again, you have to make those decisions for yourself. And this will probably be the only time I ever bring up politics. Another truth on my, we'll call it my truth list about moving to Columbus, Ohio is our school district. So I relocate a lot of people every single year and the majority of those people happen to either have kids or they are in the process of thinking about having kids. And so school districts is something that always comes up and people more than ever probably care about it, maybe more than they did three or four years ago when I was relocating people. That's my opinion. It just seems like people are putting a more emphasis on those type of things. So, you know, let's talk about the school districts here in Columbus. As you may or may not know, Columbus City Schools is the largest school district actually in the state. And the interesting thing about that is, um, its performance or its grading varies from school to school. So you will probably, if you type in Columbus City Schools, there are probably a lot of negative headlines um, around that, whether it's teachers going on strike, it's uh, certain schools that are not providing the amenities that the kids and teachers deserve, you know, updated air conditioning or heat or even the, the condition of the building not really being um, up to par of where it should be and where those kids and those teachers deserve. So that is something that you will see back and forth in the news headlines um, about Columbus City Schools. Now, the interesting thing is, is I will say the majority of people that I am working with or have relocated here, if they do live in the city and they have kids, their kids tend to go to private school. Um, we have a lot of really great private schools here in Columbus. So you should look at, you know, possibly doing that if you want to live, um, you know, kind of more in the metro area and have that lifestyle and you are very hyper-focused about schools and concerned and, and want your kids to have the proper education that you desire for them, then there are going to be a number of different private schools that you could look at. Um, there are also some 
uh, really good public schools in kind of the metro area. So if you look on the map, uh, you have Upper Arlington, you have Grandview, um, you have Bexley, you have these certain areas on these pockets and we'll, that metro area I'm expanding a little bit, but those are really great public schools. Now, as you move out to the suburbs, then that's a different story. Uh, we have some of the highest rated school districts, not only in the region, but also in the state. Schools such as Dublin schools, New Albany, um, you even go up to like Old Tangy, go out a little bit farther east to Granville, like you get some very, very top notch schools. And so that is something that when you are relocating here, if you already live here, you probably already know that, but you should take into consideration is, you know, what is the lifestyle I wanna live, but also what type of schooling do I want my child or children to have? And so that's a big conversation that I'm having with a lot of people. So the truth is you just have to make the best decision for yourself because there are plenty of incredible options, whether that is going the private school way or the public school um, route as well. You just have to decide what's best for you and your family. Another little hidden truth about the Columbus, Ohio area is the lifestyle that we live. Um, a lot of people that uh, call me that are relocating, that are thinking about it, or a lot of information that's out there is, you know, what is Columbus like? A lot of people just think it's it's farm country, we're a flyover state, they call us Cowtown, I believe, back in the day. Um, and so a lot of people are worried when they move here, like, what am I gonna do? What's it like? You know, we have a lot of diverse neighborhoods here in the Columbus area, whether that's in the city or out in the suburbs. And so we do have a lot of options for different types of lifestyles. And, and I think that is important. And as Columbus continues to grow and we continue to invest in our city and our neighborhoods, and we have the influx of people that they're talking about moving here over the next, we'll call it decade, those opportunities and those neighborhoods, they are going to continue to evolve and transcend. And so, you know, you can expect Columbus to be very diverse in certain areas, and so if that's something that you really are concerned about or you want to make sure that you have access to those diverse neighborhoods and offerings, you know, we do have um, a plethora of those. Now, here's the thing. We are very flat. I'm not going to lie. If you're coming from Colorado, your lifestyle here is going to be very different as far as you know, maybe your activities are concerned. You know, you're not going to go hike, you know, these massive mountains and have all these lakes to, to play in and, and mountain bike and do all these um, incredible outdoor activities with some incredible scenic views. Um, like I said, we're a more of a flat state. We do have uh, opportunities for different types of hiking trails or, or biking. Um, you can go down the Hocking Hills, it's about an hour away, um, and do a little bit more of the Traverse type stuff. Uh, but that is going to be different. We just don't have those types of things that maybe some of those mountain states have. And so you gotta understand kind of what you're getting into and maybe that's important to you, maybe that's not. Um, but one thing that Columbus is known for is we have a vibrant art scene. So down in the short North district, Franklinton, Old Town East area, you have all these um, kind of different art, either art galleries or meetups or shows that go on. And so that is something that Columbus has really become known for. And a lot of people can really appreciate that, especially all the different events that we have throughout the year to support those things. Uh, we also have a wonderful uh, college sports scene with the Ohio State University, go Bucks! it's football season. So we have that, there's other universities as well here in the metro area. And also we have the professional sports teams of um, in the NHL, the Columbus Blue Jackets. We have um, in the MLS, the Columbus Crew. We've got a minor league baseball team here. So, you know, we do have a sports scene. We're not a major city that has, you know, all these mega sports teams, but we do have those offerings. And, you know, this is a growing, uh, tech, manufacturing, and healthcare uh, city. If you've looked uh, at anything in Columbus over the last 18 months, you will see the announcement of Intel coming here. Amazon, Facebook, uh, Google, they keep investing billions of dollars into either products that are already here or that they're bringing here. 
Honda announced they're making a uh, massive uh, EV plant just uh, you know about 45 minutes south of the city. So you have all of this growing job opportunities uh, for the residents here in Columbus already, but also for people to move here and come work for. So you're going to expect from a lifestyle standpoint, uh, more options in the future as far as maybe restaurants, the art scene, uh, maybe we'll get a professional uh, football team one day, who knows, right? Um, but those, that's kind of gonna be your lifestyle here in Columbus. Last but not least on our list of truths about moving to Columbus, Ohio in 2023 is the weather. And I've talked about this before. You're probably tired of me talking about it, but I'm going to keep emphasizing it because it's always a question people ask me, what is the weather like? All right, so here's what the weather like. It's humid as heck in the summer. It sucks, it's so humid, right? And the winters, they are cold. And the spring is a plethora of hot, cold, dreary, cloudy, rainy, snowy. It's awful, right? I'm just gonna say that. The springtime is not that great. Uh, and then, you know, you have the fall, which is absolutely beautiful. But I'm gonna give you some examples. So this summer, thousand degrees out, and in the middle of the night, we have a hailstorm. And the hail was the size of a golf ball. And my house felt like it was being shot at by a machine gun. It was so loud, these hail balls hitting the windows. It was so disturbing. And I, I don't know if I've ever seen anything like that. Um, this past winter was very mild. You know, sometimes we have incredible winters where we get a ton of snow, and then we have some winters where we barely get any snow and it's just kind of cold, right? Then you have the spring, and the spring can be a mix of everything. It can absolutely suck. I'm going to be very honest with you. The spring is not fun, it's just not. It's cloudy, it's dreary, it's gross out, it's raining, all these different types of things. So be prepared for that and you're just gonna have to just know that that's what it is. Also, the fall here. The fall is beautiful. We are getting into the fall time right now. Today it was like 75 and sunny. This is the favorite time of the year. Unfortunately, it's very short. You know, we get a, a couple months window of the fall and before we get into winter, but I'm loving it so far. And I think people that move here from incredibly sunny states, Colorado, Utah, you know, even a little bit of California, Florida, it takes them a while to adjust to the different types of seasons. Now, some people absolutely love it. I have one client, they grew up in Southern California, they moved to Arizona, they've never seen snow, they've never really had a great fall, um, they never experienced spring, but they love it. They love how things just kind of change. They view it as a, a new season of their life as well, that you know certain things that they were doing this summer, now they're not doing in the fall, and those fall things are, are different than what they were doing in the summer, and they really like that. So. It can be a good thing, it can be a bad thing. You'll decide that, but those are kind of the, the ugly truths about the weather here in Columbus. My final thoughts of, uh, of this episode is there are plenty of opportunities here in Columbus. We are a growing city. Type in Columbus, Ohio, type in growth or, or you know whatever keywords to describe Columbus, Ohio, and you are going to see that we are one of the top cities for real estate right now, top cities for growth, top cities for young people to live in, top you know, cities for school districts, all these types of things, Columbus is in the news and, and for a lot of good reasons.